Hey everyone, I know it's a couple of you out there, but 
Just want to say hi. I'm here. Uh, we'll let everybody kind of roll in here, and then uh, we could get started. Get started here pretty early. Everybody already paid, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to, you guys can like my page, like my YouTube page, subscribe to me, so you guys can see when I when I go online. And uh, just follow me. Uh, I'll be posting all the all the big hits on on my Instagram page and my Twitter page. And uh, I'll upload the video later after the break. So you know, we'll sit here for a bit. I'll leave that uh, Excel file up for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll take it off the page so that we we can see. Uh, more of the uh, video itself so hopefully you guys are doing good today uh, hopefully watch the World Cup France dominated Croatia which was uh, wasn't surprising but you know everybody was kind of rooting for Croatia to win so that was a that was a bummer I was kind of pulling for them too by the time I looked at the score, it was already 4-1, so it was like, oh, should I even turn on the channel to watch it? And then it looks like uh, the All-Star game should be starting here pretty soon, I believe. I believe it's the if I'm correct should be let's see if it loads no not too much stuff going on July 11th All-Star Feature Game. Any, any of you guys uh, watching the All-Star Feature Game today? Or watched it? Future game. I know they got a bunch of pro uh, future prospects in that in that game playing today, so wanted to see uh, what actually happened yes the game's already over Carter Kai boom is in there Let's see what happened Julie Matthias for 
the Royals outfield prospect. Seemed like he was hitting. Uh, he has 26 homers right now in this season. See, 19-year-old prospect, 26 homers in this season already for Matthias. So remember that name for the for the Royal. Uh, looks like it was for the outfielder for the Royals, I believe it was. Hit an opposite, the opposite field shot against the Yankee Southpaw Justice Sheffield. Nice again in the future game. He's the Royals' number three prospect, Suli Matthias, who leads all minor league baseball with 26 homers. So that's pretty cool. Then you got Hunter Green, which was a highly, highly rated prospect for the Reds. Threw 101 miles per hour on Sunday. Average. Now that's pretty fast. I remember when I was when I was younger, when going to the batting cages, you know, I could barely hit a 60 miles per hour. Uh, fastball coming towards me granted you know I don't play I don't play baseball but you know just seeing a 60 mile hour fastball compared to a hundred mile fastball you know that's super super fast alright let me just close this no leave that open for a bit What else is here? Wasabi. White Sox prospect Luis Alexander Wasabi turned around one of Green's 102 mile per hour fastball for two run home run in the third inning. Cool. I believe I got one of his um, green green Bowman first Bowman autograph out of a PC right now. Use Neil Diaz also went yard multiple times I believe for the Dodgers. Crush's second homer of the game. 21 year old. Six home runs and 59 double A games this year. So it's pretty hot. Dodgers catcher prospect Kyber Ruiz left the game off a foul tip to the bare hand. Man, that's not good for him. Dominic Smith of all the home runs hit in the future game there were eight of them and the impressive belonged to Mets first base prospect Peter Alonzo this 415 moonshot was demolished to left field that was Peter Alonzo so it seems like Team USA won that's good Wow. Team role against uh, Team USA. So they've been dominating. It looks like Team USA has been dominating. They won 10 to, uh, 10 to 6 today. Taylor Trammell from the Reds where it was the MVP. So. 4 and 1 the last 5 years dating back to 2014. 
So Taylor Trammell for the Reds went two for two with a triple and a home run Sunday. That's nice. All right. Oh yeah, that that's what it said, you know. He did mash the ball. It said, you know, it gave it some philosophy, velocity, also gave some uh some degrees also, you know, according to this article that I'm reading off of uh, Major League Baseball right now. Let's see what it says. So according to David Adler, hit a exit ball, it was 113.6 miles per hour, 46 degrees, and 415 feet. Jonas Cespedes was the only Mets player to hit a harder home run this year. The Mets only the Mets have only hit three harder home runs since that cast intro in two uh, uh, 2015. Let's put up the starting lineups here. So First that, that for says the something for, for the Mets. <laughs> First break mojo with the Cardinals. All right, let's see if we what we could do for you. Let me look at uh, well, you know, thank thanks for joining me for your first break. You know, you could you could choose anyone else, but thanks for joining me. You know that that uh, I appreciate it a lot. So let's look up. Uh, let's see who uh, the Cardinals have. The Cardinals have for the checklist in this set. So they got a bunch of young guys. They got Har Harrison Bader, Jack Flattery, and Luke, we Luke Weaver, Paul Dijon, and Sandy Alcantara. So you get Harrison Bader doesn't have a, uh, he has a silver signing auto, so that's pretty cool. He has an auto. Jack Flattery has autos. Luke Weaver has autos, Paul Dijon has autos, and Sandy Alcantara has autos. So everyone from the Cardinals uh, has a possibility of getting uh, autographs. You have patch autos, silver signing autos, jumbo patch autos, so that's pretty cool. I know, what happened to uh, Alcantara? saw that he got traded to uh, the Marlins uh, minor league team. That, that was pretty interesting because it seemed like he was going to be a pretty good pitcher for, for you guys for, or for the Cardinals. So future games for the National Carter Kai Boom, you know, younger brother of the uh, of the other Kai Boom playing on that team. Seems like uh, he's gonna be a really really hot prospect. Seems like a lot of people are very very high on him. Oh really? Oh I see. What what do you think about uh, Mike Bettini getting fired? That was, uh, I guess so. The last one was um, Joe Torre was was the last guy who to get fired in mid season. I think that was pretty interesting that he getting fired over the over the right before the All Star. So I think uh, we'll let a few more people roll in here, and then uh, we'll get started. I'll pull off the uh, Excel file and then uh, we could get started. And then uh, I'm gonna have to readjust the the camera to to see the cards. So hopefully th this is a good look. All right. Hey, uh, yeah, man. Sometimes you you just need a new voice in the. Uh, any dugout or you just need a new voice in general you know I was I, you know I, I thought about the same thing when uh, 
I, I watched the, uh, I didn't get to see the Pacquiao fight live, uh, watched it, uh, I watched the highlights of it, uh, this morning, and I was like, man, just seeing him, just seeing him, uh, fight was, was really interesting, you know, and Freddie Roach, you know, when you, when you get a coach that keeps telling you that you're, that you need to retire, you know, this, this should be your last fight, you should retire, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to be motivated to, to actually get up and fight, so, I thought that that was good for him to to get rid of a roach and have a just a new voice, you know. Oh wow, he it seems like he uh, Mike Matheny is a great guy, man. It seems like he could uh, he could get with the young guys a lot, so and you know that's why they say it's a it's a business. So you know if you if you don't show results. Then uh, you're you're gonna get ousted. And it, did any of you guys watch? Uh, are you anybody? You guys getting ready for the All Star Games? You guys doing anything? I think the uh, I think the what is it? The home run derby tomorrow. I kind of want to see that. You know, I kind of I, I read uh, one of the articles about who's pitching to who, and it uh, seems like Javier Baez is having his uh, older brother pitch to him, and uh, a old friend of uh, Kyle Schwarber is going to pitch for him too. So, and then everybody else is like their pitching coaches or somebody in the dugout that knows them. So I'm kind of looking forward to. Um, to seeing those two guys, you know, because those two guys right there go at it. That would be awesome. Got a few more minutes here. I think uh, we'll probably, we'll just stay here until probably six six p.m. and then uh, we'll we'll get started. You you guys PC you guys uh, PC anybody or any team? You guys collect any other sports? No, mate. Uh, maybe I I, I could show you guys. Please to see if you guys are interested. So this, this was a set I picked up, or just a box of uh, 2018 Topps Archive Signature Series uh, active players. I picked it up yesterday at the local card uh, shop here in um, down here in Southern California at Frankenstein's. So if you guys are ever in the area, come to Frankenstein's. Is my video working right now, guys? Do you guys see my video? My video doesn't seem like it's working. Oh, there it is. I was super far behind. Okay. So, but wanted to show you guys this to see what, what you guys actually think about this product. So I got a, I got a Steven Matz from uh, the New York Mets. It's uh, from the 20, 2016 Topps Bunt, Topps Archive Signature Series. So it seems like they just put that, uh, that little stamp on there right there. So that's number three out of seven. Everything is an autograph. So this is what I got from the Mets. For, or for for the Mets out of this case so thanks Rob appreciate it how are you doing so I think it's a pretty cool looking card I believe these are all buybacks too so top signature series archives it's it's everything's in case so uh, might have a case next or two weeks from now I won't be here next weekend but 
Gotta go see some family, hang out with them for the weekend. It's been uh, been since uh, Mother's Day since I went back to go see them. So I'm gonna go see some fam family. Gonna take some family uh, pictures this weekend. But I might have a might have a box. I might have a full case of that twenty box. Still trying to figure out how to um, how to break it. Either do it by teams or random teams or um, random hit style so everyone gets a hit. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested. Um, get my sleeves here ready. It's about it's 5:56 Pacific time right now, so we'll we'll hang here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Got my top loaders here, all ready to go. Uh, let me get my knife. You know, when I first saw this box right here, I thought this was a super small box for. Her. For Inception, could have thought that 16 box would be bigger, but I guess um, the boxes are are small. Let me just close this window here. Okay guys, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna go grab some water. All right, guys. Uh, it's all about. It's almost six o'clock. Uh, seems like we got a few people in here, so you know what? Let's just get started. So I'm gonna start recording. Hey, guys and gals. Uh, this is John from YT Sports. Thanks for joining me tonight. Today is July 15, 2018. It's about almost 6 p.m. Pacific. This is uh, case number one for 2018, Tops Inception, full case, 16 box. I want to thank you guys for uh, the quick payments and for joining me on this break. Uh, hopefully we can pull some nice, nice stuff for you guys. So I'm going to pull out the Excel file here and let's get started. All right, so let's slip that up. Hopefully you guys are doing well tonight. Uh, appreciate you guys for joining me. So oh, does does match. So I believe you get seven cars per box. So let me show you guys the empty box right here. All right. back there I'm just gonna flip these guys around so 
So it's seven cards per pack, 16 boxes. I think you get uh, one auto or one relic per, per box, uh, four base cards, and I believe you get uh, two number parallel cards in the back there. All right. Blake Snells. All right, let's do it, Sun Devil. How are you doing today? How are you doing, De Devin, too? First box, guys. Let's see what we get. Yeah. The Angels. That was a great team. Let's go, Oils. Set that up there. All right. Let's grab first four cards because I believe these are all base. So we got a Ryan McMahon for the Colorado Rockies. Greg Allen for the Cleveland Indians. Carlos Correa right there. Nice. Base card. And we got a Rem Ramil Tapia. So these are pretty sick looking cards, you know, really nice. So we'll put that there. We got the Ian Hat for the green for the Chicago Cubs. Ian Hat. We got Eric Fed Freight for the Washington Nationals. That is number 109 out of 150 there. Hopefully it can zoom. So congrats to the Nationals on your the first hit. I believe these are 130s. Yes, these are 130s. And our first hit of the day, our first auto, goes to the Phillies, J.P. Crawford. That is 204 out of 230, J.P. Crawford. Congrats to the Phillies. Really nice looking print there. Rookie card too. I'll do a recap later today. So we'll go box number two here. four cards get getting Carlos Stanton for the Yankees Domingo Santana for the Brewers Jonathan Scoop for the Orioles and Felix Jorge for the Minnesota Twins set that off to the side put that one there and looks like we get a gold for the Oakland A's, Matt Olson. Gold parallel. Congrats to the Oakland A's. And we get a Paul Dijon green. I'll sleeve these guys. I'll sleeve up all the greens later as well. Yeah, pretty sweet card. Gold right here from Matt Olson. Uh, these cases retail right now are going for about a grand, nine nine fifty ish if you uh if you get lucky. So for our second hit of the day, we get a patch auto for the Braves. Congrats! What a sick looking patch there for Lucas Sims. Nice rookie card. Really nice looking car, Lucas Sims right there. That is number 136 out of 299. 
I believe that is that is a three color patch this is a exception autograph patch so it's not a jumble patch but still a sweet looking card I believe this is a 180 so we'll set that there alright box number three almost a quarter way done let's pull some uh, some sweet hits looking for that uh, Korea booklet auto that would be awesome or you know even the Derek Cheater Otani auto would be super super sweet in this set Alright, third box. Let's get this guy going. We got Jose Ramirez, underrated player for the Cleveland Indians. Mookie Betts, what? Guy hit a grand slam the other day to win it, and then his buddy hit another grand grand slam. Tyler Mahill. We got Sue Whalen, all base. that there we get each row for the Mariners we get Jack Flattery for the Cardinals and our third hit of the day we get a silver signing for that's on card two for Tyler Wade for the New York Yankees boom that is 38 out of 99 for the Yankees Super slick card right there. Congrats, Yankees. We'll, we'll, we'll pull a... We'll see if we can get a Machado. Let's pull a Machado, too. Where do you think the Machado is going? See, that's the one. I, I hope he goes to the Cubs. Even though I'm not a Cubs fan, but it would be just awesome seeing him on the Cubs. Him, Chris Byron. Cubs got, uh, I believe Cubs got some uh, prospect to give up. Box number four. Let's get it going. First four here. We got Josh Donaldson, Paul DeJong, Ian Happ for the Chicago Cubs, Ichiro for the Mar Marlins. Set that there. Let me give me a second. Turn that up to there. Oh, okay. Cardinals, uh, there's some interesting talk about the Cardinals. We got J.P. Crawford Green right there for the Phillies. And we get, uh, that looks like a red for the Cardinals right there. 16 out of 75. Harrison Bader. Congrats, Cardinals. Sweet looking card. For, some, for a second there, I thought this was the number to five parallel. That would have been sweet, man. And our fourth hit of the case goes to the Mets. Robert Kazilman, or Sealman, however you want to pronounce it. But this is 30 out of 75 on card auto for the Mets. Robert Kazilman, congrats Mets. Sweet looking card right there. Nice autograph too. Nice edges, nice corners. This, if you get this one graded, this one will, this one will definitely gym out for sure. So congrats, Max. All right, yeah, you know, pull some faith back into the uh, clubhouse, I believe. Who do you guys think you guys have up to give up for uh, Machado? You guys have uh, prospects to to give up. You guys willing to give up young guys for for Machado? Box 
number five, guys. So we'll pull the first four cards there. We get Jacob DeGrom, maybe a future Yankee. Victor Ro Robles, Nationals, cool. Nolan Arenado, beast guy. This guy is Chance Cisco for the Baltimore Orioles. We'll leave that one over there. We'll pull these two guys. We get Lucas Sims for the Braves. That is number 17 out of 75. And we get a green for Parker Bridwell for the Angels. Set all the greens there. Put this guy in the sleeve. This guy in. And our fifth hit of the night goes to we get a uh, goes to the Phillies. What a nice patch right there for JP Crawford, number 22 out of 150 with the A patch. Sick looking patch. Congrats to the Phillies, man. Nice card, dude. I'm telling you, this is some sweet looking cards. This is a jumble patch autograph card. Congrats, Phillies. JP Crawford, too. I heard good things about this guy. Seems like Phillies doesn't want to get rid of him because he, he's the future for uh wrong wrong top loader. This is the 180 top loader. Set that one there. So that that was an awesome hit, guys. Alright, box number six. <laughs> I just think that was a sick looking patch, man. Have you guys been opening up uh, Inception late? A, a lot of Inception? I just thought that was a really, really slick looking patch. With the A patch right there. You have a Mojo Auto of him. Really? Is it from the same set or a different set? All right, we got Lu Luis Severino, Beast for the Yankees, Ace, Chris Bryant for the Cubs, Zach Granke for the D-backs, Kershaw for the Dodgers, and we got Victor Robles. This is 97 out of 99 for the Washington Nationals. Come on. Let's just get the zoom in there. Camera's kind of acting up. And we got a Max Fried for the Braves. Yeah, it's always four base, then the auto, and then two parallels. Yeah. So I kind of want to see all the base and the parallels, and then we can look at the, uh, the hit at the end. And our sixth hit of the night goes to the Mets again. On car autograph, Seth Lugo. That number is 233 out of 299 for the Mets. Congrats, Matt. You guys are killing it right now. Two autographs so far. That's pretty sweet. Box number seven. You guys, uh, I'm from Southern California. You guys have any thoughts about the, the Angels? Seems like they got one of the best players in the majors and just, seem, just can't seem to make the playoffs, which is crazy in my mind all right we got Lucas Giolito Giolito for the Chicago White Sox Austin Hayes for the Baltimore Orioles rookie car Jose Abreu one of the bright spots for the White Sox this season 
We got a Brian Anderson. I think this guy is going to be really, really good. Yeah, for sure, man. They have way too many injuries for the Angels. It just sucks. We got Tyler Wade Green for the Yankees. And we got another Green, Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. And our seventh hit of the night goes to the Cincinnati Reds. Patch autograph, two-color patch, sticker autograph of Tyler Mahill. That is 242 out of 299. His last name is like a tongue twister for me. You know, super tongue twister is Ma Mahill. Ma Mahill, rookie card. Congrats to the Cincinnati Reds. This is a patch auto. So these are these are 180s right here. Slide that guy right in there. Let's go box eight halfway through. You know, uh, I listen to the radio and they're, they're saying that the Angels have one of the uh, lowest ERA for pitching in the league. So I thought that, that was pretty cool. It's just, you know, you, you look at their offense and you would think that they, they would hit more or score more runs. But the Angels just, they go on spurts like, you know, when they played against the Mariners. You know, first game scored nine runs, second game scored three runs, and then the next game goes out and scored another nine runs. So, you know, if they could just stay consistent, I think they could they could do some damage. But it's, it's pretty... Hard for it's going to be really, really hard for them now. So, Francisco Lindor, really great uh, shortstop for the Indians. Kelly Jansen, uh, I forgot who got to him yesterday, but for the A's or for the Angels, Matt Olsen, Willie Calhoun for the Texas Rangers. Set that one there. We got a purple. Parallel for Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. That is number 37 out of 150. And we get a green of Rafael Devers for the Boston Red Sox. Put this guy in a quick sleeve. Yeah, it was Cole Calhoun. I think he hit that homer in the uh, 10th inning to take him up uh, a league. And our halfway box case goes to the Oakland A's. A super hot team right now. On card autograph for Franklin Barreto. That is number 8 out of 99. Congrats to the uh, Athletics. Yeah. That, that guy is going to be sick too. I'm going to put that guy in the sleeve here pretty soon. Uh, I think I, give me a second here, let me grab some more 130s. I'll probably end up putting all those greens in, uh, in a one touch or, or, or in top loaders. All right, halfway through the case, guys. Let's uh, let's keep it going. Let's, let's pull some uh, some more patch autos, man. I think the patch autos in this set is actually really, really sick looking. Who who do you guys follow mainly? Who who are your guys' team? I know. Uh, Seems like Celeb is a Cardinals fan. All right. We got Aaron Judge, base. Sweet looking card right there. Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. This guy is pretty good. Angels. <laughs> you got the Yanks and the O's. Wow. How do you be a Yanks and a oh Keon Broxton, Andrew Stevenson? Yeah, yeah, the Angels, man. I, I feel for them. I like them too. Mike Clevenger, green, and we get a blue 
that number is out five out of 25 for the Cleveland Indian Indians Bradley Zimmer sweet looking car right there blue parallel you're from NC so no team so you like the Yankee Yanks and the O's <laughs> Those guys are in the uh, same division, right? And our number nine hit goes to the Cincinnati Reds. They are doing work. You got a Mayor Garrett on card autograph, 139 out of 299. A Mayor Garrett for the Cincinnati Reds. Congrats, Cincinnati. These on-card autos are pretty slick. They they actually took the time to sign them, man. I like it a lot. Uh, I see, yeah. The history of the Yanks, man. You can't beat them. And the Cal Ripken Jr. I was breaking uh, Tots Finest and... Um, it was a hot case because you usually only get two case hits per per case and uh, I got three and the third one ended up being a, a gold parallel of him uh, so that I thought that was a pretty sweet case yeah all all these cards on this deception set have been having some great autos which is uh, which is really really impressive super impressive man Oh, oh. All right, set that there. Usually, you know, the, the ink is running or stuff like that. So, we get another Raphael Devers. Max Fry. Parker B Bridwell. We get a Luke Weaver. And on to... Set that up there. Put that there. We get George Springer. 75 out of 150. Looks like a purple parallel. We get a green Rice Hoskins. Sweet looking card right there for the Phillies. Rice Hoskins. I believe. I think the Yankees or the uh, Phillies are banking on him to, to produce. So hopefully uh, when he does come up he... He plays pretty really well for them. Super young team too, so it's good seeing those young guys. And box number hit for this one is a gold parallel. 13 out of 50 on card autograph rookie for Chance Cisco for the Baltimore Oils. Boom. Nice hit. Number 13 out of 50 right there for Chance Cisco for the Orioles, man. Come on. Zoom in on this nice card. This card is so nice right here. Slick on-card autograph, too. Very, very nice. Yeah, man. Chance Cisco, the future of the Baltimore or Orioles right here. Catcher. His cards are selling pretty well right now. Him and Austin Hayes, man, I gotta say. Really sweet looking car right there. Congrats, Oil. Let's keep this going. I think this set is this set has really, really good potential, man. They this set is awesome, dude. It's my first time ever seeing them in uh in person so I, I gotta say they they are nice you know I I kind of like the art print that they do kind of like Gypsy Queen you know Allen and Ginter I, I really like those uh, those cards right there all right we got JP Crawford for the Phillies Jack Flattery for the Cardinals Nice, yeah. This this is a PC set for sure. France, Francisco Mejia for the Indians, rookie. Franklin Barreto for the Oakland A's. Put that up here. Grab these two. 
We get a Francisco Mejia green for the Indians. And we get a Jacob DeGrom, 4 out of 99 for the New York Mets. Congrats, Mets. And I think that is going to be a pretty sweet card over there. And our number 13 hit of the night goes to the Orioles. Look at that. Nice three-color patch. Trey Mancini for the Orioles. They are killing the break. That is 5 out of 75. Nice pink color right there, man. I This card is sick. What a sick card. Let me put it in the, in the top loader and then we can uh, hopefully it'll zoom back in. Sweet looking card right there, man. Baltimore Orioles. They are killing it. Look at that patch right there. Three color patch. Orange, black, white. And then you get the pink background right there. <laughs> I like that peak, man. All right, guys. We're a third of the way through. Hey, Kennedy. Yeah, nice looking card. Let's keep it going. So that we're a third of the way through this break. And we got some pretty sweet hits. Let's hopefully we could get a quarter case mojo right here. Hey Lucy, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Let's keep this break going. This is an awesome, awesome break. So we got Rice Hoskin base for the Phillies. Mike Clemmiger for the Indians. Tyler Wade, base for the Yankees, rookie. And Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Set that down. Ooh, what kind of card is that? What a sweet card. All right. Looks like it's a hot pack, guys. It's like the Barreto green. Let's let's look at the let's look at the bottom one first. Boom, that looks like it is a printing plate. Must be a 101. Oh, I don't know. No, it's not a 101. That's Garrett Cooper, first baseman. Anybody know what kind of parallel this is? Negative printing plate? Not sure what this is, man. I thought this was a big, big boom. But nevertheless, that is a sweet looking card. I'm not sure what it is. But congrats, Marlins. Garrett Cooper. And our number. It's usually a 101, is what I thought. And our hit is 291 out of 299 on card auto for the Athletics, Bruce Maxwell pretty sweet for the Oakland A's right there congrats A's let's put you guys in I might need some more uh, 130s here underestimating how many there are alright guys last quarter of the break let's uh Good luck to you guys. Let's let's pull some awesome hits. Set you over there. You're in the wrong pile. Yeah. Thank. Hey, John. H. Yeah. It's printed plate. That's what I thought. It's just, it was just weird that you know usually printed plates will say 101 on it. So we get we pull it 101 there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, well, we still got a quarter left, so let's see. So we got Christian Arroyo for the Tampa Bay's. Andrew Benditendi for the Red Sox. And Trey Mancini for the Orioles. We got Corey Seager for the Dodgers. It's a bummer that he's, he's injured for the season, so... 
we get Clayton Kershaw, sweet looking card. That is 69 out of 99 for the Dodgers. And we got a Josh Donaldson right there for the Toronto Blue Jays. That is 69 out of 99 for the Dodgers. Hey, Chang Su. Yeah, that's. Well, hopefully, we get to pull the monster here, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, look at this. We get. Uh, looks like a purple parallel. $23.99 for the Reds. Tyler Mahil. So, his Reds are killing this break, too. You know, I think they pulled a patch auto. And they get on card autos. Pretty sweet looking card right there. All right, let's keep it going, guys. This is 16. This must be box number 14 right here. So we are almost there, guys. Only eight left. Good luck to you, everyone. I want to pull you guys something awesome here. Start off with those. So we get Luis Gohara for the Braves. Adrian Beltre should get traded for somewhere. Let that guy compete for a uh, for World Series for a pendant. You got Jake Lamb for the Diamondbacks. Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. We get a purple Joe Jimenez for the Detroit Tigers. And we get a Sue Wei Lin Green for the Boston Red Sox. They should, uh, Bill Trey should get traded. Let me grab some uh, 130s here, guys. This should be the last one. They should uh, let that guy go. Let that guy compete. Send him somewhere, you know. He's stuck on the Rangers, and Rangers are not going anywhere. They got to they gotta somehow catch the uh, Mariners and the, uh, the Oakland A's for just a wild card spot, you know. And number 14 hit of the night goes to the Rockies. On-card autograph for Ramil Tapia. 127 out of 230 right there. Uh-oh, what happened? My video stopped working. That is not good, guys. That is not good. I am so sorry. You guys could probably hear me still, right? I will not open up the last two box until my video starts working. Let me see what's happening here. Alright guys, I, I am sorry. I don't know what is happening. My video just stopped working. So, let me shut that off. Turn that back on. Let me... I am going to stop the stream for a little bit. And I will get back on. Alright guys? So, sorry for that. Give me a quick second here. Uh, I'm just going to quickly stop it and start it. I'm going to leave the two box unopened. Uh, don't want to jip you guys. So give me a second there.
All right, guys, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we'll let it start back up here. All right, guys, I'm so sorry about that. I continue recording, but there's the last two box here. Somehow my uh, OBS just act, started to act up. I had to restart it. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, super sorry. Let's get to the last break of this right here. I don't know what happened there, but my the OBS just just stopped working. But I'm back now. Let's let's finish it off, man. It was such a great break until that little that little bummer just happened. But nevertheless, let's keep it going. Ooh, wow! Lucas Sims for the Braves, base. Harrison Bader for the Cardinals, base. McGill Gomez for the Giants base. Nick Williams for the Phillies rookie card base. We get a green Jose Ramirez. Very underrated. I, I think this guy is going to be awesome. And we get for the Giants. We get number six out of 75. McGill Gomez for the Giants. Congrats. Every time I see it, I keep thinking it's a red parallel. It's a number five parallel, but it's not. And our number 15 hit of the night goes to, we get a patch auto. Woo! Sweet looking card, Dustin Fowler, three color patch for the Oakland A's. That is number 14 out of 25. Boom, sweet Oakland A's right there. They are killing it. Two Oakland A's on car auto. Then we get a pot patch auto for Dustin Fowler, too. Wow, sweet looking car. Congrats, A's. You guys are you guys are killing it. That three color patch, super sweet looking patch right there. I'm telling you, the patch autos of these are super nice, man. Super nice patch autos. I love it. And last box, guys. Good luck to everyone. I uh, want to pull you guys there. something very, very good. So, you know, let's, let's do it. Good luck to everyone. Thanks for joining me on this break. Hope you guys have fun. I had a lot of fun. It was a very, very nice, nice break. Let's go on a monster hunt. Yep, let's do it. Set that down there. Uh, let's. All right, we get Freddie Freeman for the Braves. He's gonna be in the home run derby. Manny Machado. Couldn't pull you a auto, but you know Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. Bradley Zimmer for the Indians. And set that one over here. So we get Mookie Betts. Don't want to show that last car there. Monster. And Tyler Mahil for the Reds. And this is our last hit of the night. Good luck, everybody. It is a blue parallel 20 to 25 Paul DeJong for the Cardinals. Congrats, Cardinals. Sweet looking card right there. Blue parallel. Couldn't pull a monster today, but, you know, we got some pretty good hits. <laughs> hey, congrats. There you go. So, uh, you know, you look at the checklist, and uh, everyone from the Cardinals have an autograph. Sweet looking card right there. So, I'm going to go through uh, all the numbers first. And then we'll go through the autographs. All right. So quick recap. Miguel Gomez, number to 25. Joe Jimenez for the Tigers. Kershaw. We got a printing plate, it looks like, of uh, Jared Cooper. Jacob DeGrom. Jorge Springer. George Springer. Bradley Zimmer, blue. Jordan Montgomery. We got Victor Robles, 
is going to be the future of the National Lucas Sins. Harrison Bader. Matt Olson. Gold right there. 50. We got Eric Freed. And for our autos. We got. Hey, Edward. V. Congrats, man. That's a sweet looking. Uh. uh uh, auto right there, man. Patch auto. Paul DeJong, number 25. 20 out of 25 for the Cardinals. Sweet looking Dustin Fowler right there, man. You, you, that is a sweet card. Red parallel. I love that background. 14 out of 25. Dustin Fowler, three color patch. Sweet looking card. Sorry, Josh. You know, couldn't pull a Manny Machado. But we did get a pretty sweet guy, too. A Ramiel Tapia for the Rockies. Tyler Mahil for the... Reds, we got Bruce uh, Maxwell for the Athletics. This is the other one, Trey Mancini, three color patch, five out of seventy-five, right there. I love that pink background, man. Patch autograph right there, and we get a Chance Cisco Gold on card auto. Amir Gear for the Reds, Frank Franklin Barreto for the Oakland A's. We get another patch autograph for the Reds. The Reds and the Oakland killed this case break, man. And I think that Mancini one was really sick, too. And then we got a Seth, Seth Lugo for the Mets. This is a sweet card, man. I got to say. J.P. Crawford rookie card out of 150 with the A patch. Jumble patch vertical auto patch autograph. Robert Gazilman, number to 75. I think this was a pretty sweet card, too. Tyler Wade, uh, silver signing auto. Tyler Wade for the Yankees. We get another patch autograph, three color patch for Lucas Sims. Congrats to the, and, uh, to the Braves. And we get a Drake P. Crawford for the last hit, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I won't be here next weekend. But two weekends from now, uh, I should be here. I might do Topps Archives, a full case of Topps Archive, or a full case of of uh, Inception again. So we'll see what, what I could get my hands on. But definitely look out for uh, Topps Chrome. I'm going to be on Topps Chrome. So hopefully you guys can join me then. I'll get these cars. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording, but... I'll, I'll get these cards uh, packed up and shipped out to you guys as soon as possible. I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. You know, I'll leave the stream up here for a little bit just in case you guys have uh, any questions. Uh, you guys could follow me on Twitter at uh, YT Sports One. You guys follow me on Instagram as uh, YT Sports as well. You guys could email me at YT Sports at group at gmail.com and uh i will be posting this uh video up later i'll post up the hits on uh on the pages and uh i want to thank you guys for joining me all right you guys have a great night uh this is john from yt sports i want to thank you guys so i'll leave the stream up for a little bit and then uh if no questions i'll come back and turn them off and i'll upload the video here pretty soon thank you guys
Hey, thank you, Josh, man. Thanks for joining. You have a good night. Hopefully, uh, pulled you something good. Have a good night, man. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. I'm just uh, kind of cleaning up right now. I think that was a, I think that was a really, really good break. Those are some sweet looking parts. Hopefully I can get my hands on more, uh, some more cases here pretty soon for you guys. And uh, continue the big boom side. Those, those patch autographs are, are very very nice looking I don't think you can beat them seems like top uh... All right, guys, uh, I'm going to sign off for the night. Thanks for watching. I'm going to shut down the stream. You guys have a good night. Uh, please follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to my page. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a good night, guys.